Navigating Microsoft Visio 2013 Being able to navigate a software program is one of the keys to being able to master it. It's important to know where to go to find out what you need to do. This includes finding tools that enable you to complete tasks, as well as setting options and saving files. Because navigation is indeed so critical, we're going to devote this entire lesson to teaching you to navigate through Visio 2013. In this lesson, you'll learn about the ribbon, the quick access toolbar, working with Visio 2013 on a tablet, the backstage view, common Visio terms and definitions, the drawing and shapes windows. When you open Visio, you'll get this screen. This allows you to choose a type of template to create a diagram from. Just so we can learn how to navigate Visio, click on the basic diagram. You'll then need to choose between metric units or US units. Choose your preferred type, then click create. The first thing we'll cover in this lesson is the ribbon. The ribbon in Visio 2013 is where you'll find all the tools and commands you'll need to use the program. It was first introduced in Visio 2010, although the ribbon appeared in other Office programs starting with 2007. It replaces the toolbars that were found in those earlier versions. If you've never used Visio or an Office program with the ribbon before, don't worry. Although it takes some getting used to, it actually makes the programs easier because everything is grouped and organised. The Visio 2013 is shown at the top of the screen. At the moment it shows you all the commands under the Home tab. There's also commands for Insert, Design, Data, Process, Review and View. Whenever you click on the tab, the ribbon displays all the tools and commands available under that tab. We can see the Home tab here. Let's click on the Insert tab. As you can see, all the tools and commands under the Insert tab are now displayed in the ribbon. That said, the tools and commands shown in the ribbon are broken down into groups. Under the Insert tab, we have five groups. Pages, Illustrations, Diagram Parts, Links, and Text. The Quick Access Toolbar is where you'll find commands that you use most often. The Quick Access Toolbar is located at the top left of the screen. The Save, Undo, and Redo commands are located in the Quick Access Toolbar at the moment. However, if you click on the downward arrow on the right side, you can add more commands. Click More Commands in the context menu shown here. To add commands or tools to the Quick Access Toolbar, select the command or tool in the left hand column and then click on the Add button. You can see that new command has been added to the Quick Access Toolbar. If you're using Visio on a tablet, you can adjust the spacing between buttons on the ribbon to make it easy to use. You can do this by activating Touch Mode. To do this, click or touch the Quick Access Toolbar button. Select Touch or Mouse Mode. You can now see the button in the Quick Access Toolbar as shown here. Note that the selection we just made doesn't turn on Touch or Mouse Mode, it just makes that option available for selection. Now touch or click on the button and choose Touch. There is now more space between the commands on the ribbon. You can select the button again and move back to mouse mode. This returns it to the default view. The backstage view is located under the file tab. It looks different than the other tabs that you might click on. That's because the backstage view is where you manage your files and set your options for Visio. The backstage view contains different pages. These pages are listed on the left hand side in the blue column. Let's talk about each of these pages and how you'll use them when working with Visio 2013. The info page is shown here. This page has four buttons. Remove personal information, reduce file size, check compatibility, and set publish options and check data connections. We'll discuss the remove personal information, set publish options, and check data connections later in this course. You'll use the reduce file size button if you're worried about the file size. You'll use the check compatibility button to check your diagram for features that won't be compatible with earlier versions of Visio. On the right side of the info page, you'll see information about your current document. The new page is where you'll go when you want to create a new document. It's also where you can access all the templates that came with Visio 2013. It also looks similar to the screen you first see when you open up Microsoft Visio. To select a template, click on the thumbnail of a template. You can also use a search box located above the template thumbnails. Enter in search terms to look for a certain type of drawing or diagram. Whenever you click on a template, even a blank drawing or diagram, you'll see this window. You'll be asked to set the measurement unit you want to use. Metric drawings are sized using the International Standards Organization paper sizes. The default size is typically A4. 
US units are sized using US units. The default size is 8.5 times 11 inches. The open page is where you can access Visio files that you have saved on your computer or remote locations, such as OneDrive, which is formerly SkyDrive. Any recent Visio documents you had open in Visio will display under Recent Drawings. Simply choose a location where the file is stored under Open, then locate the file in that location to open it. The Save and Save As pages allow you to save your Visio drawings. If you click the Save page, you'll save the file under its current name, file type, and to its current location. You use the Save page when you've edited an existing Visio file and want to save the latest version. The save and Save As pages allow you to save your Visio drawings. If you click the Save page, you'll save the file under its current name, file type, and to its current location. You use the Save page when you've edited an existing Visio file and want to save the latest version. The Save As page allows you to name the file you're going to save, select a file type, and then select the location where you want it stored. Under Save As, choose where you want to save the file. You can choose OneDrive, your computer, or you can add a place such as a network location. Once you've selected a location, you can click on Browse. You can then use the Windows Save As dialog box to select your location, file name, and Save As type. Type in your file name and click on the Save button. The print page is shown here. We'll talk about how to print more in depth later on in this course. The share page allows you to share your drawing. You can click invite people to share your drawing through an email or social media. However, you first have to click the save to cloud button to save your drawing to either OneDrive or SharePoint. You can also email your drawing using an option shown on the right side of this page when you click email. The export page allows you to create a PDF or XPS, which is Microsoft version of PDF, version of our drawing, as well as several other formats. We'll talk about these later in the course. The close page technically isn't a page. If you click close, it will simply close your active diagram. The account page contains information about your Microsoft account, which is formerly the live ID. There are links that allow you to edit your account details or switch to another account. If you click options, you'll see a dialog box that contains settings for Visio 2013. You may not ever need to change these settings, but it's helpful to explore this dialog box and see many options that are open to you when you use Visio 2013. Before we go any further in this course, it's important that you understand the terms we use in this course and what they mean in Visio 2013. Knowing these terms, as well as the definitions, will make learning to use and master the program a lot easier. These terms with their definitions are shown here. A master is an object in a Visio stencil. You choose a master from a stencil. You can use the masters that come with Visio or download some from the internet. A stencil is a collection of masters. Think of it like this. You buy a set of paints. The entire set would be the stencil, in Visio terms. Each individual jar of paint would be a master, again in Visio terms. A shape is an object on a drawing page. You can create shapes by dragging a master, as well as in other ways. A shape can be a line, a polygon, or an image. It can also change appearance or behaviour as the data values change. A template is a Visio document that contains preset dimensions and measurement units. It may also contain stencils, background pages, and designs. It could also contain shapes or text. A workspace is a collection of Visio windows and settings, such as the drawing window and zoom settings. It can include the size and position, pan and zoom, and shape data windows. Visio saves a workspace on your screen when you save the file. Whenever you create a new drawing or diagram, you'll see two windows open below the ribbon. These are the shapes window, which is on the left, and the drawing window, which is on the right, or the rest of the screen. The shapes window is where you will see your stencils. It may start in a narrow window like this. If you want to expand it, you can click on the arrow button at the top. The drawing window is where your drawing will appear. There are rules at the top and the left of the window that show inches, millimetres or a unit that you specify. You'll find page controls on the lower left hand side of the drawing window. Here you can see page 1. This is your page tab. If you have more than one page, the tabs will display the name of each page. The active page will be a different colour. You can click on a tab to go to that page. Right click on a page name to access page management options, including the duplicate page feature. To the right of the page name, you'll see the all with an upward arrow. This will display a list of all the pages. The active page is highlighted. Click the plus sign with a circle around it to insert a new page. Below both the shapes and drawing windows is the status bar. 
If nothing is selected on your page, you'll see from left to right the page number of the active page, the language, macros to record a macro, the presentation mode to view the diagram in full screen, the zoom slider to zoom in or out, and the zoom level which is shown as a percentage. These are followed by the fit page to current window and the switch windows button to switch to another Visio window.